And now our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. Ready to fight. Ready. Good. All right, so we're all back at Bell Center here in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, and D.C. This is the loudest MMA venue that I have ever been in. John, I feel the same thing. UFC 124. When I walked out of the back with Josh Koscheck, I had never heard anything like the crowd in the Bell Center before he fought George St. Pierre. These people cheer, and they cheer loud for their guy. Well, every MMA fight begins on the feet, and that is music to the ears of Alex Pereira, who has found a home for that left hook early. I mean, that's his best shot, man. We have seen Alex Pereira land this left hook in kickboxing to finish Israel Adesanya, and also inside the octagon where he knocked out Sean Strickland. It is such a powerful strike, and Pereira is a master of it. Ozdemir gets plastered with that overhand. It's so clear that the guy that's going forward is the guy that's successful. Big punch lands through the middle. Uppercut attempt does not get to the target. Nice job defensively there by Pereira. Oh, he lands that team. And he comes through with a big knee. Oh, he might be out. Oh, beautiful combination. Missed on the right hand. Uh, the Vulcan Uzdemir power game has arrived tonight, DC. This is a guy who you shared the octagon with, and I know when it comes to his power, he certainly had your respect going up. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. A beautiful counter with the punch there, and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, both through elbows there. Oh, almost like you saw the skin swell right away after he landed that strike. So that trainer's gonna have to bring in the end swell to try to deal with the swelling because this guy is getting pissed up. Oh, what a kick! How about the leg kick there? Beautiful. Right hook to the head block. Another one. That one landed, yep. Ustamir's bleeding from the mouth now. A cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Ustamir gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Lands a shot to the leg. I mean, over and over, he is taking these strikes to the head. The jab followed by the right hand. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taking to this cut. Easier said than done. Right, so the narrative in this one has been Alex Pereira striking. He's landed a lot of power shots. Maybe the knockout will materialize in this one. And he breaks it out. Alex Pereira does not rush. He takes his time. He finds his spot to explode. He will beat you up. He will break you down over the course of time. And then when this is moment, bang, you see him put you out. We have seen this time and time again. The Sean Strickland fight comes to mind. Adesanya won comes to mind. When he gets a moment to put you out, he goes and he finds it. And that's why he's one of the best middleweights in the world. 15 seconds. Oh, 
Nice slip there to avoid the punch by Pededa. Heading back to the corner now after that round. And Ooz Demir's corner has some work to do. They're gonna take a look at that lip. Hopefully the cup man can do his thing and just make sure that it doesn't continue to bleed and provide further adversity for him in this fight. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with round two. Lands a strike there. Well, there it is again, that left hook from Alex Pereira. He is in the zone tonight. I'm surprised you're still standing because Alex Pereira lands that left hook. Generally, you go to sleep. The guy is as powerful as anyone that we have seen in the UFC middleweight division. And the kick lands. Oh, beautiful kick to the head. Another blistering combination there, really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body, his face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. inside leg kick. You ever taken like a five finger to the inside of your leg? That don't feel good. Never mind a kick like that. A full, I mean, slapping your leg hurts. Imagine someone this side kicking you with his shin in the inside of your leg. You cannot take many of those kicks. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation. Ooh, diving punch lands. Uzdemir's really bleeding badly from his lip here. A few more strikes absorbed, and that could be the end of this fight. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Watch knees to the body. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. All right, looks like the ref has paused the action here. Oh, he's going to call in the doctor to look at that cut. I don't know, John. It looks bad, man. It's a bad cut. I don't know what the decision's going to be here. It can go either way. All right, so the doctor talking to the referee, and it looks as though the fight's going to continue. He's got to go for it now, though. That cut's not going to get any better. It is not going to get any better. Now he's got to take some chances. He's got to go out on the Ready shield, and he's going to go out. Ready. Because if he gets to the next round, I'm not certain he'll get to go out again. All right, so the ringside position has made his way back to his seat. The referee gets the action back underway. The fans are excited this fight's going to continue. Absolutely. Oh! He's got him hurt here. His nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Strong hook lands. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up walking out. Just over two minutes now to go on the round. Chip, look at that redness underneath his elbow. There it is again. Right, opens the guard, now stacked guard. Oh man, another 13 steps in! Holy smokes! What a fight! So no judges needed tonight as he pounds him out for the TKO. I'm hoping I get an invite to the after <laughs>
Bruce Buffer inside the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 11 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Alex Poetai Horan!